Hey guys, I've got three very quick and affordable crafts for you guys today. For this one, we'll be using these plastic bunny eggs. I got these from the Dollar Tree. You can find them just about anywhere. Different types. Some of them are just the face with the ears and some the whole body either would work. We're going to be using this truffle paint by Waverly, some twine, some glue, and some cotton balls. First, we're going to glue our bunny eggs closed so they don't open on us while we're doing our craft. Then we're going to take our truffle paint from Waverly and paint the feet. You could probably get away with two coats, but I did three. Now we're going to start wrapping our bunnies in twine. When you get up to the top and you're unable to continue wrapping in a full circle because you get to the ears, that's where you will start trimming off smaller pieces of twine and just filling in um, the holes that you have left. You will definitely have to move a little bit slower and use a little more glue on the ears.
I will probably go back later and paint the underneath of the feet. And here I am um, using a lighter to singe off the little hairs from the twine. And now we'll glue on our tail. I'm using a plain cotton ball, but you could use a pom-pom. They sell them in packs at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. You could add a face or leave them plain like I did. For this next DIY, you will need this printable that I made. I will leave a link to it to the download in the description box below. You'll need some wire, some brown or black paint. I'm using Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel. And they have these little jars at the Dollar Tree that have shells in them. I'll empty the shells out. After you get your front and back cut out, you will take some glue of your choice. I'm using Mod Podge. And you're going to sandwich the wire in between the front and the back of our feather. After you have them glued together, you can go back and trim up any uneven spots. Now I'll be using, you'll use whichever feather you didn't use and cut out a few long skinny strips to wrap the remaining wire in to cover it. I would suggest using some hot glue to start the wrapping just at the very start starting point and then continue on wrapping using Mod Podge because it was it was it kept slipping on me and I but I was too lazy to get out the hot glue gun. Now you'll just use scissors to cut the feather slits into your feather. Going at an angle and making it as making each cut as close as you'd like. 
There's really no right or wrong way to do it. As you get to the top, you'll want to make your cut smaller or you might accidentally cut off the tip of your feather. Now I'm going to take this acrylic paint and pour some into the jar. And then just take some painter's tape to seal off the top while I swirl the paint around inside. I went and added a little bit of water, but don't add too much. You don't want it to be too runny or the paint won't be thick enough to coat the inside well. It will be um, sort of translucent. And there we have our finished feather and inkwell. For this next DIY, you will need some rope, some fabric, of your choice, some twine or ribbon, and some hot glue. You're just going to start out gluing the rope to itself, forming a pinwheel shape and going in a circle, gluing as you go. I'm going to be making two of these, and the second one I do a little bit different. If you're going to do it this way, I would only suggest doing it this way if you have a thicker rope than what I have. For the second one, I'll be gluing the pinwheel to a cardboard backing and I think for my thickness of rope that that would have worked better. If you're not going to use a backing then you're definitely going to want to glue very often to use a good bit of glue almost the entire the entire length, the, the entire way around. When you get to the end, you're going to want to cut your rope, the end of your rope, at an angle. It will look nicer. You can see here, because I didn't use a backing, that it's a little loose, and I had to go back and glue in spaces where I skipped. Now 
Now we're just going to make our ears, cutting two pieces of rope to make the ears however big you want them. And then we will glue them to the back. I decided that I glued the ears, the base of the ears, too close together, so I went back and pulled off one side and spread the base a little wider. I thought that it looked better that way. Then you're going to want to pinch the top of each ear, putting a little dot of glue so that it glues together the very tip of the ear to make the point of the ear. Now we're going to fill the inside of each ear with some fabric. I'm using this lace trim and you're just going to glue it to the back of each ear and then trim away the excess. Now I'm just going to take the scrap from the lace and make a quick bow for the bunny's ear.
For the next one, I'm going to use the first one as a template to cut out a circle for the backing of the bunny. I found that using a backing was easier and faster. So if I made these again, I would definitely do a backing on each one, unless I had just a very thick rope. I'm using this burlap ribbon for this Benny's ear and I'm going to make him a bow tie with the twine. Just wrapping the twine around this plastic fork. And then sending the twine through the center of the two, the two center prongs and then tying it off to tie off the center of our bow tie. Then you just slip it off the fork, and there you have a little bow tie for our boy bunny. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would help my channel out a lot. Thank you so much.